Henry Berg was a man who took a stand for animals and gave them a voice. He founded the ASPCA, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, on April 10, 1866 in New York. If it weren't for him, animals would still be beaten and no punishment would be served to the offenders. Berg knew that what he saw happening all around him was wrong and he knew that someone needed to take a stand to put a stop to this animal injustice. So that's exactly what he did. His movement ended up inspiring more laws and organizations that swept across America and the world. As a child, Berg was raised in a privileged household. His father, Christian Berg, built ships for the Navy for the War of 1812. His mother, Elizabeth Berg, was a strict but loving mom. Berg and his two older siblings spent many days at the shipyard with their father. This is believed to be one of the first places Berg encountered cruelty to animals. However, Berg had no desire to run the shipyard like his father. He eventually dropped out of college and traveled around Europe. Here he saw many acts of cruelty to animals, such as the mistreatment of horses pulling carriages. Berg encountered dog fights in which the dogs were put in a ring and forced to fight, most of the time to the death. He also saw people abusing exotic animals. While Berg worked in the shipyard with his father, he saw horses being overworked and underfed. This disturbed Berg even as a young child because he couldn't understand why people didn't see what they were doing as wrong. The final straw was when he saw a horse helplessly being beaten in the street for not carrying a large load fast enough. While in Europe, Berg encountered the RSPCA, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. He wanted to bring something like this back to the United States to stop the cruelty occurring there. This was especially an issue because slavery was just recently abolished and people began to turn to animals for labor. He knew that if other countries could accomplish such a great feat, that he could take a stand to accomplish something greater for America. Returning home, Berg decided that he had had enough. He decided he was going to do something drastic to put an end to the animal cruelty. He wanted to get a law passed as quickly as possible in order to put an end to all the abuse. He got a law limiting animal cruelty passed, but Berg still was not satisfied. He still wanted a firm regulation that would make it illegal to abuse any animal in any way. Berg also wanted harsher punishments to ensure animals would not be abused. He knew that if people had a place to share when they witnessed animal abuse, they would be more likely to report it, which would help put an end to the animal cruelty. Berg took a stand in front of the state court and pleaded for funding. His eventual goal was to receive enough money to create the ASPCA. However, the state and him had different opinions. Berg believed that all animals deserved fair treatment. The state, on the other hand, did not want to fund something that they felt was not a big deal. Berg took a break from trying to receive funding to pass more laws. Afterwards, Berg took a stand once more in front of the state court and they finally agreed to fund his organization. Then, on April 10, 1866, Berg saw his dreams come to life. The ASPCA was created. However, it was a rocky road at first. People did not want to change their views on the treatment of the animals. He was persistent, and after only a few years, the ASPCA's message had spread nationwide. People were beginning to show more support for the foundations and value it protected. After a few months of the ASPCA being up and running, the nation started to take notice. Even though many people at the time were still against Berg's views, the name was becoming more and more popular. After a few years, the ASPCA began to become a household name. People started to change their views about the treatment of animals. Whenever people saw an animal in need, they called the ASPCA for help. People began to donate money to the foundation, enabling the state funding to go to other important matters. The ASPCA began to branch out into smaller facilities so that people in rural areas could also have access to a reliable shelter. Eventually, the ASPCA inspired other nations worldwide to create a similar foundation that guaranteed animals to be protected. The impact of Berg taking a stand has had an astronomical impact on the world today. The ASPCA's headquarter is located in New York. 
They have branched off into numerous locations across the nation, adding up to about 13,600 shelters in America currently. Millions of animals have better living conditions and live cruelty-free lives due to the ASPCA. Also, people are more sensitive and accepting of animals and how they need to be treated. They are more likely to adopt an animal in need because of the ASPCA's outreach program. In fact, out of the 7.6 million animals that enter shelters nationwide, 3.9 million dogs and 3.4 million cats and a total of 7.3 million animals are adopted out each year. This adds up to about 96% success rate in the United States alone. Through his efforts, all animals around the world do not have to live their lives afraid of the world around them. The fighting for the few that exist is, is hard enough, but to think about not fighting for them at all, I mean, I, I imagine we wouldn't have nearly the biodiversity that we have today. Some of the, you know, fun forms of entertainment, like a lot of people like to go bird watching, or they like to go to SeaWorld, or, you know, they like to go watch whales actually in the wild, right? Just go whale watching on a boat in the ocean. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do that, I think, if activists hadn't gotten organized around the time of Henry Bird in the 1800s. Without Henry Berg, our lives today would be drastically different. He was the voice for animals at a time when it was thought that they were merely slaves to do a man's work. Berg was ahead of his time in his opinions, his actions, and his ideas. Berg is still changing the lives of people and animals today, through every animal's life saved by the ASPCA, to every new organization created to benefit the animals. Berg was a man with a heart not only for people, but for animals as well. The ASPCA was founded on the belief that animals are entitled to kind and respectful treatment at the hands of humans and they must be protected under the law. This reflected Berg's wisdom and caring characteristics that allowed him to take a stand and save thousands of animals' lives.